All right, so very quickly we have arrived at our question number three, past paper practice question on work, energy, and power. So far we have seen that the questions are pretty forward, straightforward so far. So here is a question, not a long question, it fits on one screen. So please pause the video, attempt the question, and play the video again. Meanwhile, while you are attempting the question, please take out a moment to like the video, to also subscribe to the channel because it will let me know that you are really liking the videos and it will motivate me to work harder to create more good quality contents for you all. Alright, so I believe that you are now back to the video, you have solved the question, now it is time for you to do your scoring. So please score your answers by checking if your answers are correct or wrong by looking at the working that I am going to show you and by looking at the mark scheme that you are going to see now. So what we have here as the first question, define power. It is a repeat of a question that we have practiced already. One mark question, just write the formula power is work done over time. I'll show you what mark scheme expects or what the Cambridge expects. Work done over the time taken. One mark question, you straight away get one mark. Alright, now the second part says, use your definition in the part 1 to show that power may also be expressed as a product of force and velocity. Let us do this part now. Power, they are showing, can be expressed as a product of force and velocity force and velocity they are, this is what they are telling you to prove so what did you write as the formula for the power in the first part power you said is work done work done over the time taken right so let us start with this formula power is work done what is the formula for the work done Work done is force multiplied by the displacement. It's not D. You are an AS level student. Displacement is represented by the letter S. Do not make that mistake. Force multiplied by displacement, which is S, over time. And what is displacement over time? Displacement over time is velocity. So this whole thing becomes force multiplied by velocity. You have proved your answer. For this question, it is a two mark question and it is done. You have scored full two marks. So if you have done this question this way, give yourself two marks. If you have done it in some other way, please do let me know in the comment box. I'll verify and understand if your working is also correct. All right. So let us move on and understand the next question. A lorry moves up a road that is inclined at 9 degrees to the horizontal as is shown in this figure. The lorry has a mass of 2500 kgs and is traveling at a constant speed, constant speed of 8.5 meters per second. So whenever you get this, these key terms, right, constant speed or accelerating or decelerating, always underline them because they, they have some hidden information in them which you can use in your logical thinking to arrive at correct answers. The force due to the air resistance is negligible. Calculate the power output from the engine to move the lorry up the road power output from the engine to move the lorry up the road. What would be the power output? How do you calculate that? So what is the formula for the power? The question already made you mention the formula for the power. So they are asking you to use the same formula. Force times the velocity. Velocity you know, the value of the velocity is given to you. What is the force on the on the lorry what sorry what is the force that the lorry's engine is producing in the forward direction what force is the lorry's engine producing in the forward direction let us understand it is there any force acting on the lorry 
yes there are a couple of forces the weight the weight which is acting downwards let us mark all the forces there is this weight acting downwards and there is a forward force forward force why is there a forward force why is there a forward force this forward force is due to the engine the engine is is pushing right the engine is producing a force which pushes the lorry in the forward direction let us call it forward force of the engine f e e stands for engine so what do we do now logically if you look here you know it from the component of vectors that you have to determine all the forces in the same straight line so you know f e is in this line can you find the component of the weight in the same straight line which is inclined which is in the direction of the slope yes you can so here you have component of the weight in the direction of in the direction of the slope so that all the forces are in the same straight line so it becomes w sin 9 degrees now you have both the forces in the same straight line right are these forces equal are these forces equal how do you find the answer for this question it is hidden here the lorry is traveling at a constant speed constant speed means acceleration is zero constant speed means you are not accelerating you are not decelerating you are accelerating at a zero acceleration acceleration is zero meters per second square so what is the resultant force in that case resultant force the formula is ma how much is the resultant force fe minus w sin 9 right whatever is the mass will not substitute but a is 0 a is 0 so this whole side becomes 0 so resultant force in terms of the forces is fe minus w sin 9 degrees which is equal to 0 because acceleration is 0 that means fe should be equal to w sine of 9 degrees right so the total force which is produced by the engine is w sine 9 degrees how much is the weight let me carry on here because here is where we have the space so force due to the engine is weight is mg 2500 times g is 9.81 times sine of 9 degrees now i'll pause here for a while and you can take out your calculators work this out to calculate the force due to the engine work it out whatever force you are getting substitute in the equation here substitute the velocity as well and you should be velocity is given please pay attention and you should be getting your answer work it out in your calculators and then check the mark scheme which i am going to show you now so if you see same thing precisely the same thing they have done here and your answer should be on your calculators 32.6 kilowatts 32.6 kilowatts all right it is a three mark question so why is it carrying a three mark question because it is not pretty straightforward i have explained with all the reasoning that force due to the engine is w sine 9 but if you know the fundamentals well you can straight away arrive at this last part of the equation and calculate the force due to the engine you need not do all those working not required right so that's what exactly but the mark scheme has also done right so the next part of the question the last part 
state two reasons why the change of the kinetic energy of the lorry is equal to the power calculated in one. So why the change in the potential energy is equal to the total power which is generated by the lorry? Two reasons. First of all, speed is constant. Kinetic energy is not getting created or destroyed or nothing is happening to the kinetic energy. So all the energy which is produced is potential energy. Kinetic energy is constant. Kinetic energy is constant. There is no gain or loss of kinetic energy which can be converted into potential energy. Nothing like that sort of is happening. Second thing, air resistance is negligible or you can say that the resistive force, resistive force no work done against the resistive force right i would just erase to make space no work done no work is done against the resistive Force because the resistive force is zero, air resistance is negligible. So let us tell you answer with the mark scheme. Here you have the mark scheme. Please look at the mark scheme, spend a moment on the mark scheme as well to understand how the scorings are done. Do not lose marks on such easy kind of questions. So in the next video, we'll be taking up more past paper practice questions on the same topic.